Баба Боуи. WestJet. What is up, heroin addicts and eggs Benedict? My name is WestJet, and today we're gonna be talking about why you suck ass at Valorant. Oh, and literally, zero percent of your subscribes. Be sure to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Mom revealed 400k. She's my mom. So first of all, I want to start this video by saying this isn't my footage. I've been injured for a month. I'm going to physio, so I can't even play the game. So I got my poor Radiant friend who works at McDonald's to do it for me for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to fucking flip the burgers, dumbass! So this video applies to anybody that isn't Radiant. I know myself included, but uh, the reason why you suck is you care about your rank too much. Whether you be gold or platinum, diamond or pearl, it's it don't matter. Your rank don't matter. Even at Radiant, your rank shouldn't matter, because at that point, you should be striving to become a pro player, and does that matter? Not really. You should be focusing on improving your game, fixing the little mistakes you make every game, and becoming the best player you can be. And then a bunch of Neanderthals shows up. Aim Labs. Kovac. How about instead of aim training, you get off your ass and go to the gym and do some real training. And if you are aim training, you know, I do that as well. Like, Joe, hit the range, hit the deathmatch. The game has all the tools you need. So now that you destroyed my life and made me suicidal, WestJet, what, what are your suggestions on how to improve? What, what, how do you get better at Valorant? I want to improve. Well, I got you. Don't worry. Raw aim doesn't matter as much. 99% of the game is crosshair placement and pre-aiming. So, like, every time you aim, you should be looking through walls, essentially. Just, like, layering your crosshair on the wall. If you could look at the gameplay right here, my friend is doing exactly that. He's swinging every angle, pretty much all headshot level, where they will be. And it's pretty easy stuff. A good way to do this is basically every time you're playing Valorant, hop into one or two DMs, get your aim nice and warmed up, get your crosshair placement figured out. You could even like walk around the maps and customs trying to like pre-aim every like headshot angle, but uh, you know, that's for nerds who's gonna do that. Like you literally have zero friends IRL and you have zero people in your custom. So yeah, a lot of people always ask me whether that be DMs or YouTube comments how to improve in Valorant, and I'm like, why are you asking me? I'm pretty awful at the game, and I understand that I'm better than a lot of people, but if you compare yourself to the world elite... It's, it's hard to be satisfied with your performance. Another thing I wanted to go back on to is the rank thing. If you put unnecessary pressure on yourself during games where you were close to ranking up, that's going to make you play worse in general. It's going to make you more hostile towards your teammates, and it, you will just not have a good time. If you're in the wrong headspace, you're probably going to lose the game before it even starts. And just like onions, my point has many layers to it. You should only worry about the things you can control. If your team comp is Dookie Douglas, either dodge the game or don't complain about it. Don't be like, Omen, why'd you pick Omen? We needed a Viper, you idiot. You're just gonna lose the game. Just, who cares? You know, I'm not gonna sit here preaching to the choir pretending I've never done that. No, I used to be toxic every other game. I used to bully people. You make one mistake, I'm flaming you. This is a zero tolerance, no BS zone, you know what I mean? So yeah, in order to get out of this mindset, if somebody says anything to you after the round that's like somewhat passive aggressive, instantly mute them. Literally zero tolerance, reverse. Well, no reverse card. Unless it's like a pro giving you genuine advice, then you should listen, obviously. If the player is way better than you, listen. But most of the time, they're not going to be way better than you. They're just going to be someone in your rank with a massive ego because they got cheated on it. I don't know. His e-girlfriend left his Discord for somebody else, oh no. So another thing I highly encourage is find some friends to play with. It's not that hard. If you have a fun game with somebody, add them after. Maybe start a duo. Enjoy playing together. Because the amount of times I've solo queued in Valorant have seen absolute morons, passive-aggressive losers speaking to me. It's ridiculous. And being shy is no excuse. As my boy Darman said, that shit's a superpower. I hope you love this message about... Being shy. I mean, those are pretty much all the steps I can really think of off, my, off the top of my head. Another thing you could do is just buy an account. You will instantly rank up. But, uh, you know, that's a little, a little cursed uh, ancient technique. I don't know if you should use it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you hate society. And, uh, yeah, stay classy, stay cool, and don't be a fool. Let's go! Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away. Better know that I don't and I... Post-outro gorillas, comment your favorite cereal below.